This video is sponsored by Noble Gold. Three years ago, Warner announced they had signed a production deal with J.J. Abrams' production company Bad Robot worth $500 million. This signaled to everyone in Hollywood just what a power player Bad Robot had become. But fast forward three years, and things were very different. Now, Warner are scrutinizing this very bad robot deal, not happy with what has been delivered, which in turn signals they may want out of it. Is Bad Robot no longer the power player they once were? We shall see, for in this video, we will go through what the original deal was, what has, or rather what hasn't been delivered thus far, and what revelations the recent scrutiny may have uncovered for both DC and Star Trek going forward. But first, you might have noticed that inflation isn't getting any better, and now is the time to plan and set the goals for the next cycle of it. So you are always moving forward, making money instead of losing it, so you can have more freedom. To do that, start a gold IRA with Noble Gold now and fight inflation. And this month, for every IRA above 20k, you'll get an incredible 3 ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thank you. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more, or visit noblegoldinvestments.com or click our link in the description. With that, let's see what was in that original bad robot deal. When the deal was announced on September 12th of 2019, comicbook.com wrote, The deal has officially closed, which will result in the development of new movies, TV series and video games. This deal starts immediately and will initially run through 2024. After some fluff from the official press release, the article continued, Given Abrams and Bad Robot's success with brands like Star Wars and Star Trek, and with this deal potentially allowing the filmmaker to develop properties owned by Warner Brothers and New Line Cinema. Fans can't help but wonder if this could lead to Abrams developing projects for the DC Extended Universe or any of New Line's exciting hotted properties. To remind everyone that Bad Robot isn't exclusively about Star Trek and Star Wars, they also added, Bad Robot has previously produced TV series like Westworld, Castle Rock, and 112263, with fans also looking forward to the upcoming Lovecraft Country from Get Out filmmaker Jordan Peele and the Stephen King adaptation Lisey's Story. Remember, this was three years ago. Anyway, this deal was, well, a pretty big deal, and it solidified Bad Robot's position as a power player in Hollywood. With Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker on the horizon and due for release just a couple of months later, J.J. Abrams looked unstoppable. But then, a few months later, The Rise of Skywalker, or rather, The Rise of Palpatine was released. And seeing as the R-rated low-budget Joker actually outgrossed it, it started to look to many as if Warner Media might have overpaid. Fast forward three years, and things are very different. First of all, there is no more Warner Media. Now it's Warner Brothers Discovery, and Warner Brothers Discovery are not pleased. Deadline Hollywood broke it down in a May 25th piece, centered around Demi Mond. You've probably never heard of that, which is no wonder since it doesn't exist yet. But for context, Bad Robot meant for it to be the next Westworld. Deadline Hollywood describes it as, Written, executive produced, and to be directed by Abrams, Demi Mond, his first solo TV creation since Alias. Recently cast Danielle Deadweiler as the lead. In it, when a woman is torn away from her husband and daughter in a brutal scientific accident, she is forced to unravel a conspiracy to reunite with her family, now lost to a dark, distant other world. With that established, let's get into the Deadline Hollywood story proper. J.J. Abrams' ambitious HBO sci-fi drama series Demi Mond has hit a major roadblock in its long journey to the screen. The issues, related to the show's price, came amid talk of a potential re-evaluation of the massive deal Abrams' Bad Robot has at Warner Brothers for film, TV, gaming and digital content, as the new Warner Brothers Discovery is scrutinizing every aspect of its assets that they took over. 
While current talks between Warner Brothers and Abrams are focused on Demi Mond, we hear a broader discussion about Bad Robot Steel is expected amid a big, across the board, close examination of Warner Media's businesses by Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Saslaw. We hear the veteran TV executive has a good relationship with Abrams, and is in regular communication with him and the rest of Warner Brothers' top talent, as he familiarizes himself with the workings of the film and TV studio he now oversees. Referencing the bad robot deal, Deadline Hollywood then writes, While the agreement's terms are set, we hear both sides are willing to examine it and adjust elements in order to make it more relevant to the current economic environment, which is very different from the one in 2019. According to sources, Saslaw and his team are committed to staying in the J.J. Abrams business. That's interesting right there. That's basically Saslaw telling Abrams, You're good enough that we don't want to fire you outright, but you're not good enough to warrant your current paycheck accept a pay cut, and we'll talk. That's somewhat humiliating for J.J. Abrams and Bad Robot, but of course not as humiliating as Warner Brothers Discovery walking out on the deal would have been, and we're not there yet. Bad Robot is still expanding into new venues and going strong, and they have delivered a few series, but they are evidently not deemed to be worth the same to Warner today as they were in 2019. A particular bone of contention is DC. According to our good friend Mikey Sutton of Geekosity magazine fame, Walter Hamada, the president of DC Films and of recent Amber Heard testimony fame, wanted Bad Robot to do for DC what they already had done for Star Wars and Star Trek. Which tells me that Walter Hamada doesn't really follow Star Wars or Star Trek. But be that as it may, nothing of what Bad Robot has developed for DC where live-action properties are concerned has seen the light of day yet. This was covered by The Hollywood Reporter, who wrote, Sources say that DC Comics properties have also come under the spotlight. Sources suggest there is some frustration within the halls of Warner Brothers Discovery that Abrams has laid claim to a number of DC characters but has yet not got anything on the air. Sources note, Warners has seen scripts for Constantine and the pilot of Madame X. And that's really it. There is no mention of Tanahishi Coates' Black Superman, so that is obviously dead in the water. And Bad Robot's Constantine is similarly ray-spent and radically changed away from the source material, so we'll see if they'll proceed with that, or if they'll give this Madame X a series order. In short, it would appear that fans don't have to worry too much about Hamada's wish, as Bad Robot clearly won't do for DC what they already did for Star Wars and Star Trek. Speaking of, The Hollywood Reporter does actually mention Star Trek. The Hollywood Reporter writes, Meanwhile, the lack of delivery on content to HBO and HBO Max has created a pipeline issue for both the premium cable network and streamer, making it challenging to plan for budgets and for things like marketing. There's currently no delivery plan for any of Bad Robot's multiple projects for Warner Brothers platforms or for third-party buyers. Abrams, it's worth noting, is working on a new Star Trek movie for rival studio Paramount Global, as the Warner's Pact did not include exclusivity. That's actually very interesting. You see, we heard from one source that since Paramount recently came by some new sources of funding, Bad Robot Star Trek 4, allegedly, is back on. I say allegedly, because we have not been able to vet this information with our other sources. The challenge facing the many past iterations of Star Trek IV was always funding. So if Bad Robot and Secret Hideout somehow were able to channel enough of that newfound Paramount cash into Star Trek, well then it might actually happen this time. As for Bad Robot, it would appear that while not as influential as they once were, their reign of terror isn't quite over yet. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and before you go, Call 877-646-5347 now to secure your pension or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. See our link in the description.